Guy Fieri's Food Network TV show, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, has been captivating audiences for many years. A lot of hard work goes on behind the scenes to create the show. It took the crew 21 days to finalize its first episode, according to Insider. And even after having it down to a science, they still need at least two days on average to finish shooting each episode. Fieri also takes the time to assist these local chefs when he's filming each episode, saying, If they ever ask, I always want to offer advice to them if I can, and help them out. I mean, as we all do as chefs, we all support one another, and we all try to help each other grow. That said, he never wants anyone to feel too overwhelmed or dejected. Fieri added, I'm not there to tell them how to change their restaurant. That's not my job. In case you're wondering what happens to the eateries after they're featured on the show, some restaurants have gone on to do well for themselves. Fieri reportedly warns the owners to prepare for an influx of customers after their episode airs. Others, however, have sadly closed for good. Why do these places matter? A lot of these mom and pop joints are the fabric of the community. According to fan site Flavortown USA, 59 of the restaurants that made an appearance on diners, drive ins, and dives over the years have now closed. For example, Fat Ones in Orlando, Florida, which appeared on the show in 2017, is now closed, as is Belly and Snout from Los Angeles, California, which was featured in 2016. According to a report by Reality TV Revisited, a noodle shop closed its doors in 2019 after appearing on the program just a year earlier in 2018. Zazu Kitchen and Farm, which was on a November 2018 episode, is now shut as well. Other restaurants that appear on the list are Sage General Store in Long Island City, New York, Harvey's Hot Dogs, which was located in Portsmouth, Virginia, and Yayo Taco from Las Vegas, Nevada. Of course, the restaurant and bar industry is notoriously difficult to make it in, so be sure to double-check the website or social media page of any spot you plan to hit up on your next cross-country road trip. Even with the best reviews, you never know when a hidden gem could close forever. Overall, quite a few eateries featured on diners, drive-ins, and dives have unfortunately failed to survive the test of time for a number of reasons. While 59 closures may seem like a lot, considering the show has been on since 2006 and Fieri visits more than one location each episode, we'd say that's not a about average. According to fan site Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives locations, Guy Fieri and his signature Camaro have visited at least one restaurant in each of the 50 states, highlighting 1,250 local favorites and counting. Considering Fieri's massive $80 million Food Network contract deal in spring 2021, we're sure Triple D fans can count on Fieri and his team to continue to discover and share those can't-miss meals. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more MASH videos about your favorite food shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.